Before watching the video, I just want to give a quick little uh, fair warning. Audio was a bit messed up during the recording. It, it's you can you can understand it. There's nothing. It's just when it goes in and out. I messed up a little bit on the audio settings, trying to black out some background noise and things like that. That I, I kind of messed up something, and it, every time I get a little quiet, it kind of cuts out. You'll you'll notice what I'm talking about when you're watching. It's nothing too crazy, but it's just it, you you might notice it. It might annoy you a little bit, and I'm sorry for that. I recommend just. I mean, I I'm not that. I just just you, you, I'm just bear with me. I'm sorry. I'm I'm still learning this. So just just. Yeah, yeah, you'll be, you, you got it, you got it, you guys got this, just, uh, yeah, uh, I'll talk to uh, you, uh, show you a little, little bit later, you can see what I'm talking about. Hey guys, what's going on, Noticeable Gamer here, and if you're like me, the uh, 10% of people who actually like Far Cry New Dawn, you probably bumped into the question, I need ethanol, and uh, I don't know how to get it, so, whether you're a new person who playing the game, or you're somebody who's even been down the line, and you're struggling to get some ethanol, this will certainly help you if you don't already know, because it is kind of a bit overlooked. Now, the, there's a couple ways to get ethanol. There's at least three that I'm aware of. There's uh, getting an airdrop, which is random occurrence. You'll be walking and you'll get a little message on the bottom left of your screen saying, fly drop incoming. All right, you can go get that. That's like 30, 40, maybe 50 ethanol. That's a little good bit. All right. You gotta be careful though, because sometimes there is enemy next to the fly drop. There's also, uh, the other way uh picking up ethanol tankers which is like uh driving oil trucks they're also random they'll be on the road or maybe there's a certain some at, at a certain spot you'll find across the oak county or whatever you take those you drive those all the way to some kind of uh one of the settlements or outposts that you've already taken care of and you'll get ethanol from that as well but those are those are pretty good ways especially the oil truck uh the supply the supply thing is not that it's not the best but what i'm about to recommend is the simple taking over outpost now this is the outpost is mainly for newer people if you have been playing down the line you do not have outpost and you realize that's how you get ethanol then good on you keep doing that um but for those who haven't i recommend taking outposts and outpost is a good way to get 100 to 200 uh mainly 250 something like that depending on how you take it so every outpost is outlined by the smoke here that's how you identify an outpost because they don't they don't show you which outpost there's another one here there's a few of these on the map and you can just look here about all the outposts so for the sake of the video i'm going to take this outpost and show you how much uh ethanol you get so i'll be back and i'll, I'll talk to you guys when i get there uh you just go up to expert takedowns the more outposts you take the more perks perks you get and then i recommend investing in the i also recommend investing in covert which will help you be stealthy uh, decreases noise level when moving and increase movement crouch Helps you take out people very fast, very quickly, very quietly, and well armed for carrying a third weapon because you you're gonna want you they're gonna force you to carry some kind of pistol or whatever, but you're want you're gonna want a bow, and the reason I say a bow you can use a saw, but a bow is very fast, it's easy, just you can use the level one bow especially if you're beginning I recommend level one bow, if you have their workshop up to level two for this I highly recommend level two bow, um. The bow is easy, the bow is quick, you just aim, you shoot, and that's it. With the saw, it bounces around, it's, sometimes it can hit some other people, it's just, it, it, it's not the best thing in the world, especially if you're really trying to take these outposts quietly, and the reason you want to take these outposts quietly is because you get more ethanol if you go undetected or even no alarms or whatever. Even if you get detected, if you can kill them all without sounding the alarm, you get more ethanol for that, so I highly recommend you be quick and be stealthy with most. And you know, the higher you go, the more the higher bows you get. So I recommend just getting a higher bow. It is also recommended that you, uh, oh yeah, you want to carry a third weapon. Sorry, but you want to carry a third weapon because in case things go south and you have to do things loud, pull out an automatic weapon and just you know, kill everyone. It's also recommended that you don't bring a companion, some kind of guns for hire, unless he's stealthy. Like I recommend the judge, maybe a Anna person, uh, rock horse. I don't have her, but Nana, she's a sniper, she's a stealthy sniper, she's actually one of the best characters to use for taking out posts. You can shoot them from a distance without alerting anyone. Judge is just, he's just a stealthy dude, and that's for that. Timber, he's really good for uh, these outposts because he can scout, tag enemies that are around the area, but there is a chance, there, a good chance that he will get spotted. And that's why it's best to do these solo unless you have at least Nana or the Judge because they will get spotted, so. We'll go ahead and, uh, Clear this out, and I'll get back to you guys when I'm on the last enemy. 
Oh yeah, one more quick note. Tactical binoculars, it's best to use them on a high ground at a distance, such where I'm at. Uh, you can just pull them out and it allows the ability to mark where things are at. That's a that, that's an alarm, but it won't let me mark it for some reason. It's sticking over there. So yeah. Alright guys, I believe I'm on the last end. I'm gonna go ahead and kill him. So you guys got the rule. There's the rewards, guys. That's 150 plus some carbon fiber. Uh, undetected plus 50 ethanol. Hey, guys. Sorry about at the end there. There's some mic problems. I, I, I don't know. My mic's been giving me some issues lately. But basically, yeah, you saw 150 ethanol for taking one outpost. You can redo the outpost to get even more ethanol, 50 plus, I believe. So that's more recommended for later down the line until you take. I recommend mostly all the outposts before you decided to do scavenge or whatever. But yeah, that's how you do it, guys. If you found that helpful, if you have any more comments, I mean, if you have any questions or anything like that, please leave a comment down below. If it if it helped you, and if you think it helped somebody, can help somebody else, please like the video. Please subscribe if you want to know more uh, tutorials down the line for any other games. If you have anything else you need to know how to get titanium, how to get anything, just let me know down in the comments. All right, guys, I hope it was helpful, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.